Your choice of niche will dictate your results in the rank and rent business model. There is absolutely no denying that. However, trying to find the perfect niche is one of the biggest mistakes that you can make. In today's video, I'm gonna be explaining why that's the case. I'm also gonna be talking about how not to approach rank and rent websites and the business model in general, and instead, how you should go about it to maximize the chances of success. Now, I've been building sites for several years now, and I've been implementing this business model during that time. So I'd like to share with you what I've learned and also just some of the mistakes that I made and that I've seen others make during this time. So first and foremost, what not to do. I would strongly recommend that you don't have a, a really strict criteria of what you feel a niche needs to have for you to pursue it. So as an example, if you are searching for niches, you are likely to find several different things that put you off pursuing it. It could be a keyword difficulty score is higher than you wanted it to be. It could be that the search volume appears a little low. It might be that the keyword is not present in your keyword research tool altogether. So a zero search term as an example. Now the truth is every single niche has its own challenges. There is the, the idea of a perfect niche doesn't exist. There is not one singular perfect niche. And the truth is with this business model, it's it's finding a niche that works despite of its challenges. So that's one thing that I would say first and foremost. Now, secondly, I would really keep research to a minimum. Now, of course, research is absolutely crucial. You do need to know what keywords you're going after. You do need to know your services. You need to know your market. Um, you need to know the locations to target, etc. This is all absolutely crucial. However, there's only so much research that you need to do. Otherwise, you can kind of go down rabbit holes, just keep, you know, keep trying to find something that you think will be even more profitable, or it could be that you're just looking for something that doesn't exist. So keep your research to a minimum. You don't want to, you know, give yourself any reason not to pursue an opportunity. Now, lastly, and this kind of coincides with the other two, do not focus on one site. I would not build one rank and rent website. If you do so, you're putting all your eggs in one basket. You are just, you're at the mercy of um, what, you know, what Google and the search engines decide to do with you. Your, your risk appetite will be much lower because you'll feel you need to protect and preserve that website with whatever happens. And it's just, you are just minimizing your chance of success. And I'll explain why that's the case in the next step. So what you should do, so the first and foremost suggestion, and it kind of follows on from that last point, is build a portfolio. Now with a portfolio, there's so many different benefits in doing that. Firstly, different websites, different keywords will rank at different times. So as an example, you could build um, two very, very similar sites. It could be the same service in different locations. And one, one of those websites may just rank, you know, a month, two months faster than the other. Um, and we, you don't know ahead of building what that's going to be and, and how this is all going to unfold. So building a portfolio um, increases your chances. And just kind of following on from that, you could have everything optimized and, it, you know, everything uh, set up in such a way, you know, it follows best practices. You've done everything right and it just doesn't rank. Uh, but you won't know that that's going to happen um, until you are kind of you know, until you've built out these websites. So building up a portfolio is really, really crucial. You'll also find what tends to do well and what doesn't. It, you'll also have a greater chance, you'll have a great, you can have a greater risk appetite. So you can start testing things like backlinks, citations, you can see what works. And you are you know, if you've got a portfolio, say you've got a, a dead project, it's not going anywhere, you can start test, testing some really risky things and just see if that moves the needle. If it does, then you could perhaps consider doing that on your other sites. And you're not risking your money-making asset um, if you do so, as an example. From there, you should focus on what's working. So say you do start, start you know, 10 projects, then anything that ranks really, really quickly, spend your time and attention on that. Now, time is of the essence here. You don't want to you know, build one website and wait and wait for that to rank. You know, it could take months. Instead, you could actually have other assets bubbling along and doing really, really well. Um, and it could be a particular niche. It could be a particular city. So yeah, I would focus on what's working. 
whether that's your time or your resources. Um, next scale accordingly. So this follows on. You want you basically want to you only want to put your time and resources into what's working. I wouldn't if you have any dead projects, be be willing and you know open minded to maybe cut them off, stop working on them, and move on. Uh, only scale on what works. Put your resources into a an asset that is going to um, repay you essentially. The next point is something I've I've done and. You should find that with rank and rent, particularly with the more experience you have, opportunities are everywhere. Every day I think of new niches, new locations to target and combinations of those two. So what I like to do is keep a to build log or just an area where I document all of these different services and locations um, so that I can just build them in the future. Um, I, I may not ever go back to them, but it's almost like a brainstorming log uh, that I can go to if I do want to enter that niche further down the line. It's really, really useful and it can spark further ideas as well. Also, by building out a portfolio and just having, you know, um, a, a different set of sites, you can optimize your processes. This ties into seeing what's working, but also... Um, once you start building sites, you know, if you build one site, you can forget about what to do and when. But if you have a portfolio, you can create a repetitive process and just build out um, sites much quicker, much faster and just optimize them. As an example, I've actually got a rank and rent WordPress theme that I deploy across all of my websites. And it's a plug and play. So it takes me 20 to 30 minutes to build a website now. Whereas if I was building out a single site, it could take me between four and six hours, sometimes even longer than that. Um, so if you do want to pick up my, my theme, there will be a link in the description below for that. Um, it is a plug and play. You simply upload it to your WordPress installation and then you just swap out the, um, there's a lot of placeholder text, which you just swap out. I also have a tutorial which explains how to get that uh, information and text, you know, copywriting best practices, etc. So if you did want that, that's a, there's a link in the description. But you do want to optimize your processes and building a portfolio of sites will enable you to do that. Now, lastly, and I've touched upon this, you want to test. And by having a portfolio, it will enable you to do that. Um, it could be certain keywords. It could be site architecture. It could be the style of website that you build. You know, it could be things like exact match domains. It could be, you know, there's so many different um, verticals and areas to test. Um, and building a portfolio of sites will enable you to do that. Now, I also recommend, so one of the other benefits of building a portfolio is that you can benefit from economies of scale. So as an example, I use WPX as a host, uh, at my hosting provider, and I build out all of my sites under one plan. So it doesn't cost me any more money to create a new website. Well, I do need to buy the domain, but that's very, very cheap. Um, but if you build out one site or, you know, maybe just a couple, then you may feel the need to get separate hosting plans. It can get really, really complex um, with, uh, login information and details and things like that. So I do find just having a portfolio of sites much easier to manage. I plug them all into my Ahrefs account and I have a, the rank tracker on. I can just see what's working uh, and just follow up on all of these different steps. But yeah, I strongly recommend getting on WPX. There'll be a link in the description below for that. You can have one plan, have all of your um, rank and web websites under that and it just makes management so much easier. So yeah, I hope this video is useful. If it was, please hit the like button. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop them down below and I'll get back to you. And do consider subscribing to the channel. And with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day and the best of luck with your rank and rent projects.